What's going on, Stephen Knight? Today's video is on Trisha Paytas. Oh, wow, big surprise. We shall now call Ms. Paytas, Mr. Paytas, because apparently what's been released on her channel is that she's transgender, male to female. We all know that she's lied about being gay, being bi. There's no possible way that she's turning from gay to bi to transgender, just like that. that that's just how it's a bullshit to me. She also has a habit of clickbaiting things. Yeah, she made the entire LGBTQ plus community rage with anger. And that is incredible. Not really. I think, this is my own opinion here, please don't criticize me, Trisha Paytas fans, please. But I think she adores dicks. Right, no lie, no lie here. She adores dicks. And I know what this by because she has her own Patreon with where she uploads videos of herself pleasing herself, doing all the things she wants with her dinosaurs and other monstrosities. Now let's have a look of a video of her actually explaining herself of being transgender. Come on Terry, let's go. Let's get this over with. Oh shit, Trisha. Trisha, let's get this over with. Oh my god, I'm gonna get criticised now. I'm gonna have loads of backlash for this. I'm gonna be criticised for calling a person a male when she's a female. Oh my fucking god. The entire world's over. Come on, put a bullet to my head. Right, right, kill me now. Kill me now, please. Hey guys, what is up? Um, Today, I am going to be doing a video that might people might think is tr I'm trying to be offensive or I'm setting back like a movement or something like that but I want to talk about this because it's something that I actually have felt for a long time. Yeah Trisha you've definitely felt this for a long time especially when releasing gay bi and obviously this new one transgender videos I'm pretty sure you're straight Trisha because you had sex with many males you may even had sex with a great Logan Paul we will never know Someone in the comments will know, like, leave in the comments below, like, someone will know I did a video, like, maybe, it was right before I started dating Jason, it was, like, in January of, like, 2018. Yeah, 2018. To be honest, I can tell if someone is lying or telling the truth. She's taking a long time to think about what she's gonna say, right? Now, obviously, I've seen coming out videos, for example, Dan. Dan came out to say that he was bisexual. He didn't take long ass pauses to explain that he was bisexual or whatever was on his mind. He just went out with it. I am bisexual. I know, shock and horror. Oh my goodness. We would have never have guessed in all our time. And I know a lot of people quiz me and point their finger and go, you're gay, you're gay. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> It was hard for him to do, I respect it, I do respect that. But Trisha, come on, if you're really transgender though, obviously, before you film a video, you're gonna think, okay, I'm gonna say this and get it out. You're not gonna take long pauses, and plus you haven't even got much editing in there at all, so, yeah, uh, what a great way of making more and more money with watch time. I am absolutely astonished. I did a video, and I don't know if it's still up, I think it is, where I wanted to be referred to only as T because I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't feel like I identified as a girl. Now this seems like crazy and weird and shocking because I was born a female, um, and I, I'm ultra girly now, I'm very like, I'm very girly, right, because when I was younger I was teased a lot because they said I looked like a boy, I had a boy haircut. I had, you know, just stuff I couldn't even control, like just hair on my lip, hair on my face. To be honest, I think you could become the fastest female talker in the history of the world. You never know who brings about, you know? And plus you get more money out of it. What confuses me about this Trisha Paytas video is that she said nothing about it before. She didn't change her style. She, she kept being referred to as Trisha. Obviously, if you know you're transgender, you're gonna go to a doctor or something to explain that you're transgender. You want to change your parts. You're not feeling... Correct. Trisha, you are 31 years old. I think I'm correct there. I might as well call you Trisha a person who is non-binary because you can't make up your bloody mind what you are. You're, you're gonna be a lamppost the next minute. Sorry, I didn't really mean to crack up those non-binary jokes. I am not against anyone who's non-binary. It just frustrates me of how much Trisha changes her gender every five fucking minutes. 
so people would call me like a man like there was one nickname and I just it's not even funny it's not even weird it's not even like clever they'd be like Trisha the man penis like I swear that it sounds like I made that up like it's freaking weird I didn't really get it then I don't get it now but they would just be like that I was like a man and I didn't get it other than my lip I know they made fun of my hair lip a lot anyways so to overcompensate for that when I got older, like when I was like 18 and I could start like, you know, like spending money on my hair and like all that stuff like that. I can't pay attention to what Harry is saying to be honest. I might as well skip halfway so I understand what he's saying. I am so bloody confused. Now you're talking about your hair and everything. We don't want to know about your hair, we want to know about your transformation to become a superhero, right? We want to see your superwoman outfit. Yeah, that would be sick. That would actually be absolutely amazing. Oh god, I sound like a Welsh person now. So, in my head, I feel like I'm a transgender female to male, but also like a drag queen. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now she ain't making any bloody sense. Ugh, I don't know if I'm a female. I think I'm a male. Oh no, I'm not male. I'm a female. You're either male or female. You can't be both. God, it's time to claim the non-binary card, isn't it? Trisha. Claim non-binary, it's so much easier, and plus you don't question yourself as much. You obviously have no attraction to females, but you have coitus with males every day, apparently, on the Logan Paul podcast now, isn't it? My last boyfriend I was always threatening to break up with because he like wouldn't have to me like six times a day. Who was it? Was, was it Jason? Yeah. yeah. You would make Jason have to do six times a day? Yeah, he got injections for me towards the end. He talked about it on his what? podcast. Yeah, so if you were talking about your past on the Logan Paul podcast, Surely you should cover the transgender topic. Honestly, no one judges in this world, right? No one judges. Well, it's a few minority of people who judge. But seriously, no one judges against people's sexuality or gender. Because that's totally wrong these days. Everyone would get their heads kicked in if they judged upon that anyway. Speaking of her apology video, guess what? Trisha's done it again. She's got ads all over her apology video. You've done a great job here, Trisha. I'm so proud of you. I wish I could be your future husband now. This will be absolutely brilliant. Trisha, do you remember when you said size matters? I'm pretty sure you said on Logan Paul podcast you were talking about sex. But I'm pretty sure size does matter. I mean, obviously size matters. Look how big this is. This is huge. Now let's watch this ridiculous apology video and see what the hell is she talking about. Hey guys, it's um, the morning. It's Tuesday and I just thought I'd check in here. And with every Trisha Paytas video, oh my God, wait for it, wait for it. She's crying. Every time she makes an apology video, she cries. Every time her boyfriend treats on her, she cries. Almost, obviously, I can't get this right, can I? I am so, so excited. I am all over the place, right? I can, I can't wait to see the next apology video. And, um, I just lost it. I lost it because I haven't told anyone in my life these feelings. I mean, a few people, but not a lot. Because because of the judgment of the backlash. What you could have said when you started your YouTube career to make it simple, if you were really transgender, is to make it public. Honestly, no one would judge. And plus, you look like a female, you're sexualizing towards males, so it's really hard to believe. Yes, mate, I have questioned my sexuality many times. Am I gay? Am I straight? Am I pansexual? Actually, yeah. Um, am I... Non-binary, exactly, I've questioned, actually non-binary is not even a gender, but look, yes, I've questioned my gender and my sexuality many times, and people haven't judged me for it, see? If you put on Twitter to say you were a certain gender or thing, people won't really judge you, I mean some will, but the thing is, you're not really looking for attention then, are you? So, you say, oh, I'm transgender, you put all your history down, yeah? You don't make a video and put ads on it, because on Twitter you don't even put ads on them. It's not something Patrick Starr tweeted me and said, like, are you, are you effing stupid? Just because I put on a wig and nails and makeup, I just, it doesn't mean I'm a girl, a woman. I just play dress up and that's fine and I get that. Okay, great. Now she's claiming she's a drag queen. Now, obviously, males dress in drag, not really females. I don't really see what the hell is going on here god i really don't want to finish this video because it's so boring it's honestly so boring 
God, let's have a look at her previous videos because honestly this is this is shit. This is honestly shit. Now we're gonna watch her video where she claims she is attracted to the same sex. Right now this is this is weird. This is very, very weird. One, not really like it necessary to like come out and also too, like I feel like even if I did and I was like, hey guys, like I'm bisexual, I like girls, I like guys, like I also feel people say that's like attention seeking, which I'm sure this video everyone will be like, oh, you're like attention seeking or what the fuck. Right, now that's the first segment of her I'm attracted to the same sex video. Yeah, apparently she's released another video saying she's bisexual now. Now this, she can't make up her bloody mind, can she? Right, I was going through YouTube and to be honest, I hate her and I, I really, really do. She's made fun of the LGBTQ plus community. She has a video called, Why I Retired From Being Gay, and that was released a year ago. Now, what the hell is going on? I don't really think she's transgender. The thing is, she loves males so much, right? And she loves her own gender, that's the thing. She doesn't question herself. She's not questioning herself, she's doing it for attention again. For crying out loud, a few years ago she bought something off a website where she put layers and layers of semen in and but she changed the title very very sneaky she changed the title of the video and we're not watching it here this is a pg channel and we don't want to get age restricted or worse striked because i know those strikes are coming around the hills like crazy fast she's got a second channel called trisha paytas yes she's got a video from a week ago called i eat boys the hell anyway guys if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button subscribe turn your post notifications on or else on the night is your house straight away complaining you don't want that follow my social medias down below right in the description as well please click the link to go to my social media profiles that'd be sick anyway peace out stay awesome have a great day and i shall see you in the next video stevenites